Hi! So I don't have the video that I thought I was going to have today because I didn't manage to sneak my camera into the physics lab where I was going to attempt to record um, spectroscopy, uh, what they call it, atomic spectrum, with pretty colors in the dark. It's cool. Uh, yeah, so I started my physics lab yesterday. It's kind of really intense. He actually wrote in the syllabus, You are brave students to sign up for this course during the condensed five-week summer session. I expect we will all get to know each other quickly, as we will be spending 16 hours a week in lab in addition to significant time outside of class working on homework and writing lab reports. We're supposed to be doing graphs and stuff on a computer. I don't know how to do that. Yeah, I also moved into my new house. There's a really cool painting on the wall. All other cool thing about the house, other than the really cool thing on the wall, is the cat. It's adorable, but really annoying. She scratches on the door when it's closed, whether she's inside the room or outside the room, and she's constantly begging me to play with her, and jumping on things, and breaking things. She hasn't actually broken anything, but it's going to happen. And uh, she likes to make strange noises whenever the lampshade moves on my lamp, and she sees the light on the ceiling. She makes some very strange noises. So I know movies was the theme of last week, but I forgot, so I figured I'd talk about it this week. Um, I, this weekend I saw Star Trek again. I thought it was awesome again. I was afraid that it was going to be really bad and action-y, but it turned out to be good, though action-y. It was amazing how they actually made them look like the characters. I love Simon Pig as Scotty and Zachary Quinto as Spock, and I don't know if you guys watch Heroes and you're going to think I'm weird, but I also love him as Sylar. He was the perfect villain. I also realized old Leonard Nimoy looks scarily like my grandfather. If I come across a picture, I will show you. It is uncanny. So, Matthew. Grinners is good. I look forward to the intro. And you should be happy to know that chipmunks do not carry rabies, neither do squirrels. I'm not going to tell you how I know that, because it is one of those stories that's better if I just kind of laugh and look down and and then let it go, rather than actually tell you. Most because that makes it seem like a more interesting story than it actually is. Dina, I will get a picture of me back in 99, but I'm not at home and I don't have any pictures here, so I'm gonna ask my sister to look for one. So, hopefully by next week, if not then, hopefully the week after. But eventually, you will see me in a strange outfit. Apparently, I fail at com coming up with things to talk about and not messing up when I talk, and this is going to be edited a lot. And it's going to be really jump-cutty, and I apologize. 